everyone, so I've actually been sitting here for about 15 minutes waiting to film this video and then I got a huge attack of hiccups but I think they have gone now so I'm going to get started with today's video and I thought I would go through and do my pick of the palettes because I actually have quite a few and they used to gather dust the way that I had them stored in my collection. They sort of got like right at the back of the drawers and I could never be bothered to like pull them out and fuss around with that but I've moved them around and now they're more easier to grab and I've been getting quite a lot of use out of my favourite ones and I think palettes are quite nice because usually they've got the best of everything in there and some have a bit of everything like for face, eyes, lips are really handy for travel and I just like the way that there's already an edited pick of colours for you to go from that nine times out of ten all go together and it just takes the guesswork out of like what colours to use so I thought I would go through my favourites I'm going to get started with some that are just for face and the first one is the Laura Mercier I think this is called the Bon Mine palette it doesn't actually say on it but it looks a little something like this and this is just for face it's got a big mirror at the top and then it's got two like highlighty creamy products two um cheek creams and then one cream bronzer at the side and this is fantastic for anyone who really wants to get into like creamy products or highlighters that kind of thing i end up using this cheek color here quite a lot which i think might be available in their normal range. This was limited edition and I think it's quite difficult to find. I picked this up from the Space and Case sale a few months back for £7.50, which was just an absolute bargain. But it's a really nice way of kind of being introduced to their cream products. And if I can find a link for it below, I will link that up for you. And the next palette has quite a few creamy colours in as well. And this is the Stila Convertible Colour Dual Lip and Cheek Cream Trio. And this is in the cool shade. They do this in a warm one as well with three shades that are slightly warmer. But I picked this one up because I think the warm one has Gerberin, which is a shade that I've already got. So I thought I'd stick for this one because I've never tried any of these shades before. And you've got Peony here, Lilium and then Cherry Blossom on the side. And I've actually got, I think it's Lilium, slightly on my cheeks today. And I really love the formula of these Stila ones. I spoke about the Gerbera colour in my spring edit video because they're just so nice for lips and cheeks. And so many things that say they're good for lips and cheeks are lying. They're not. They're usually really dry and look a bit crappy on the lips. But these look perfectly good on both. And I just thought they were really nice. I haven't got a cream product in this type of bright shade, nor this more darker like brown tone pink shade. So I think I'm going to get quite a lot of use out of this. But I picked this up from Space NK. I managed to get it in store. I thought it was an online exclusive, but I did see some in the King's Road Space NK. And then one that has a bit of everything in. I think this is actually one of my favourite ones because I just really want to go on holiday so I can take this with me because I think it's a really good one for just everything especially if you like really bronzy neutral colors and it's from wild about beauty which is a brand that doesn't really get much love i do think the packaging is a bit leaves a lot to be desired and it's a range created by louise redknapp and her makeup artist and it's gone into debenhams and everything's quite like fairly priced and everything's very neutral like louise is a very neutral girl she always looks quite dewy and fresh and her makeup always looks quite nice so i was quite intrigued by this range but this is the safari nights palette and i have the night divine palette as well which was the first palette they came out with and i prefer this one because it's really as you can see like super bronzy super glow and you've got one of their glow stick shades um a cheek color there two powder eyeshadows two cream eyeshadows a highlighter and then a lip gloss and i've got the lip gloss on my lips today and it's the nutri gloss in sasha and then i've got this um cream eyeshadow on my lids today and it's the cream eyeshadow in edna so you just get a bit of everything in here like i did a look with the night divine palette on my blog i'll link that up below and like that i used any type of color for my face from that like the lips cheeks eyes all i needed extra was like a bit of eyebrow product and mascara and your base products and that's all you really need, so it really streamlines everything down. Then I'm going to move on to eyeshadow palettes, which I think is when you think of a palette, you think of an eyeshadow palette, because it's kind of probably what most of us have the most of in our collection. And I'm going to just kick things off with like the undisputed queen of eyeshadow palettes, which is Urban Decay. And I have loads of their palettes, but the naked ones you just can't beat. I've got the Naked Basics one, and I like it, but I like a bit of shimmer in my shadow. So... For me, I like it for kind of definition or doing a bit of like an eyelinery look with, but for just all over the lid colour on a day-to-day -day basis, I like a bit of, bit of shimmer in there. So I've got the Naked One, which just, I think 
it's just such a staple. Even all my mates who aren't like massively into beauty have this. I think when we all turned like 21, I can't, it came out quite a few years ago now. I think we all bought it for each other. Like we all took it in turns to buy it for each other for our birthdays. And then this is the Naked 2. So out of the two, I think I'm a Naked 1 girl, which is this one. I like kind of warmer shades. I have a bit more of a warmer skin tone and I love the shades Sin and Toasted. Toasted is this one here, and it's just one of my favourite eyeshadow shades of all time. I'm not a big eyeshadow lover, which seems a bit crazy that I have so many eyeshadow palettes, but I'm a bit of a noob when it comes to eyeshadow. So I find that with when you get an eyeshadow palette, it's all picked out for you. You know the shades are going to go together really well. It just is really easy to do. And some of my favourite combinations out of this is Sin and Toasted, and then I really like Naked and Buck if I fancy a matte um, look on the eye. Half baked and smog. That's that's kind of it. The other shades don't get as much love. I do like a bit of hustle and a bit of dark horse. The other shades don't really get too much love for me, but there are some really nice duos in there. And um, I think I got this back in the day when it came with a double-ended eyeliner, which was really handy. Then I think you probably will expect this to be in this video. It was quite a recent purchase for me, and it's the NARS and God Created the Woman and I love, I love this palette. I love it so much. I think it's pretty much sold out, but I do have an alternative for you. And um, I've got a tutorial on this as well, so I'll link that up below. But my favorite shade out of it is, I think this one's called Galapagos. I think so. My favorite shade, so gorgeous. And I've actually got quite a lot of use out of this, so it's definitely worth the hunting down. But the dupe that I've got, and it's kind of a dupe, dupe it's not exactly the same. But it's the Smashbox Photo Op Eye Shadow Palette in Mew. There was quite a few videos that I put up, kind of like February, March time, and I was wearing kind of like a rusty eyeshadow shade on my eye, and it was this one here, and I got so many comments on it, and it was from this palette. I don't know what the shade of it's called individually, but it was this ready one. But I do think that this is quite a good dupe for the NARS one. When you put them together... Ooh, there you go. Ooh, ooh, how am I going to get all this in? There are quite a few sort of similar shades in there. There's like a dark matte brown. There's kind of more like a ready taupe shade. Then there's like a really quite pale shade. And then just like a mid brown taupe shade in there. So they are quite similar. So that's possibly one to think about if you can't get your hands on the knot. Then for the final category, I thought I would pick palettes that you can put together yourself. Because in a way, that's the most fun. It's a bit like being a kid in a candy shop. and. There's just a bit of everything there. And I'm going to leave the obvious pick till last. I know that Fashionista, which is a brand that you can get in Superdrug, does a similar thing. You can buy a palette and then put four in. And their blushes are really nice. I think there's one called Juicy Peach or Juicy Apricot, which is a nice blush. And they do a mix of blushes and eyeshadows that you can put. And they work out really good value. But I have got some here from Shu Amura, and they're just pretty beautiful. This one here, to me, just looks like almost a chocolate box. I just think it's gorgeous and it took me quite a while to work out how they get the shadows in there but you just pull off this edge bit and then you're left with this and you can just slide them in and out of here. You can just buy them in the pans. These work out pretty pricey but are perhaps a nice option if you're putting together a present for someone or just a present for yourself. They do blushes as well. I'm really in love with this blush shade. I'll find out the colour for you. P550, not the catchiest name of all, but a very nice colour and I like that they're very thin, really thin like those ones. And then the obvious choice is MAC and back in the day I had quite a lot of MAC shadows but I've actually just given loads away to my friends and my sister because now I just have a palette of four and whenever I kind of use a shade out of this people always ask what the colours are so I thought I'd just let you know. This one here is All That Glitters, which I think is the only eyeshadow that I've ever hit pan on. Aside from Espresso, which is my eyebrow shade. Then I've got Smut, which is a really nice... I don't use this enough. It's just a nice, like, browny, kind of purple, mauve type shade. It's like a nice one if you want a bit of definition without using black. And then this one here is Sober, which is actually one of my favourite eyeshadows of all time. It's a really difficult one to describe. It's like a camel kind of brown, it's got flecks of gold in it, but the flecks don't really come out when you blend it into the eye. It's just one of those ones you can put all over your eye, blend it out, and not really have to do anything else with it. It's just like a nice goldeny brown. 
but without too much of a shimmer. And then with these you can pick up palettes of I think it's 4 or 15 and I really like the new palettes they've come out with with the clear tops because then you just see everything you've got inside it but I mean you can't be a good MAC palette. A, a pick of the palettes video just wouldn't be a pick of the palettes video without a MAC <laughs> included in there somewhere but I hope you like that. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys soon.